Well, you know, I've been doing a few things with Mercedes-Benz off and on. We've done some projects with my magazine, Dazed and Confused. Um, I mean, Mercedes is so present in fashion, uh, sponsoring all the fashion weeks and making uh, things happen in fashion globally. So, you know, for me, it was about working with an iconic brand. It was also about working with, you know, uh, uh, design really I mean cars and uh, the level of uh, creativity that goes into the design into the performance is uh, exciting and Mercedes-Benz are at the top of their game so you know it was a it's an exciting and interesting project to combine fashion with with cars and uh, make a film and a series of stills so yeah it was a pleasure to be invited to do this project Yeah, so you know, the brief was how to combine the car with fashion and for me it was all about movement. Really about getting a sense of movement going on with the whole film from beginning to end. So, you know, nothing static, everything's flowing, the clothes are flowing. And that's why Carly was so important because she can really move and when she moves she makes clothes look amazing. And having the car moving so you really get a sense of that, you know, that, that, that energy that's, you know what it's about. Driving's about moving, right, you know? Yeah, I think the success of making a good magazine is reflecting the times that you live in and also defining those times, so not just reporting on the culture but also being actively involved in creating it by encouraging new creators, by really being a platform for um, discovering and uh, helping to stimulate new talent and that's what has made Days to Confuse such a kind of, has given it its longevity really because we've always been about that. Everybody asks me, you know, is it the end of print? But absolutely not. No, print is not dead. It's just a different way of storytelling, you know, and we're living in, a, in an age now where we're globally connected, where information spreads super fast, so magazines have had to change and adapt to be relevant. And I think, you know, for me now, print is about being more beautiful, about being more collectible, about really something that can be almost, like if you see digital culture as being in the moment and the digital culture being like what's happening right now, this second, almost in real time, then that's like the show for me. That's like the show, like, that's what's like, that's the kind of real, point at where you can touch someone instantly and make a direct communication. So for me the magazine becomes more like a souvenir, it becomes more like an artifact of that show, it becomes something collectible, a referenceable, something where you can go more in depth to um, a certain kind of uh, theoretical or conceptual way of looking at the world, whereas the internet will always deal with more, you know, the hard, um, the hard kind of engagement, the solid engagement. I enjoy everything, I enjoy diversity because, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know, maybe it's just the way I'm wired that I'm able to jump from one situation to another and it keeps me on my toes and, you know, I like keeping myself, I don't know, maybe a little bit um, on edge sometimes with my ideas so I'm always exploring new things to do because it keeps me excited rather than staying in a comfort zone. I like to be outside of my comfort zone. So. You know, always trying to push what I'm doing with the magazines, push what I'm doing with my consultancies, um, you know, and uh, it keeps things lively. So, you know, Ryan McGinley and I have known each other for many years, and uh, I think he first appeared in Days to Confused back in the day, in, uh, probably in the early 2000s, in a story called Party Hard with him. And, Dash Snow and Dan Colin, when they were young artists in New York, really, you know, um, experimenting at the edge of what it meant to be an artist and live in New York and kind of define a new era for art and life. And, you know, he has been an incredible influence on a whole generation of photographers and fine artists, especially being like the youngest artist ever to exhibit at the Whitney. Um, so, you know, I've been a fan of his and he's been in the magazine and then we've been working a lot in the last couple of years. We've traveled to Africa, we've traveled to Istanbul, we've traveled to Thailand. Um, so, you know, there's always an adventure, there's always a sense of being on the road. There's always a sense of, you know, uh, beautiful things happening, but also, you know, unexpected things that can creep up. And, 
You know, I love the fact that we're able to make this project together for Mercedes-Benz because he's a he's an artist who is also a non-conformist. He's a, a, an optimist, which is quite rare, and it's a, it's an interesting thing to find um, optimism as a form of rebellion. Um, and he really manages to pull a sense of escapism, a sense of kind of uh, you know optimism and freedom in his work that's really rare.